We are on the way to New Mexico for my elk hunt. And we just, we are like three and a half hours behind schedule. Are you surprised? Because we're always late. It's all his fault. Katie flew in from Nashville. It's a five hour drive. We're gonna get there tonight. We have the ranch foreman is gonna help us. Foreman. <laughs> the ranch foreman. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Foreman. Yeah, our camera guy beat us there. The ranch foreman beat us there. And we are like, we still have five hours. But the good news is, is the rifle is smoking on. We will crawl through the valley. We will run through the river. We will take on the mountain and overcome. You made it. We made it. Oh my gosh, so much for getting here at like six. It's 10.30. <laughs> It'll be good, it's, it's windy out, um, but Justin is the ranch manager and he said he's got a game plan in the morning, help us kind of get situated and show us where to go and stuff, so it should be fun. I'm super excited. My gun is dialed in and we are ready to go. Who needs a radio? Ready, Harry? <laughs> I was like, where are you going with this? He got it, he laughed. <laughs> I know you like me opening the door for you, but right now we need to reverse it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love walking to new places and not knowing what we're gonna do. Katie's got some Walmart underwear. She forgot to back hers. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> my toothbrush? I always forget my toothbrush. I have like a million at home. I forgot my underwear. <laughs> I didn't have time to like worry about fashion, okay? But I'll tell you why, I can justify it. I was so, I wanted to make sure I had all my veil camo. I didn't want to forget anything that I like needed, except, you know, so I wasn't thinking about underwear. I want that one. <laughs> I always love going to a new camp and area um, to hunt. It's always so much fun to me, just a new adventure and a new place. The ranch manager is going to take us out and uh, we're going to head out on the Can Ams. Oh, hello. Welcome to the most wanted list. Oh, you said it's covered in about two inches of dirt and mud. I don't know what got into my husband this morning, but he has got so much energy. Two cups of coffee. So this is a good idea of house candy. And this is what we would do. We would sit here and glass until we found something. And then we would find something we want and then we would go after it. Like the big trees. Tree. The Just look right to the left of it, below it. Yeah, I saw the ones that were skyline. Okay, yeah. Oh. You see him? Yeah. Where's he at? He's over here. Uh, like over here off this slope. down the dip and there's a big tree, right? Okay, so that big tree in the middle, just look right off to the left of that, like right below the skyline. Honestly, I've never been around this many bulls that were bugling. We are right in the rut and I never get to hunt in the rut for elk. 
I am so excited. I cannot wait to see how this hunt is gonna go. The Most Wanted list is brought to you by Outdoor Edge's game processing sets to do it yourself and save. Sportsmansguide.com. Get free shipping and save 10% on everything to outfit your outdoor passion. High Mountain Seasoning. Make the most out of your game meat. Proas. Worn by women, designed by women. I am Proas. Gunworks. Built your way. Really Right Stuff. Mission Critical Support. Tacticam and Reveal Trail Cameras. To download our theme song, go to themostwantedlist.com and be sure to check out our swag and subscribe to our YouTube channel. All the elk come off the mountain down to us because we have the only water unless it rains or snows. Really? in here with my food, my important things in life. <laughs> I'm still waking up, it's okay. We could be like big pimping up there. Like we got radio. He's almost got it. want to get off that one as soon as you can. Well, I think if you go forward now, like you're Well, look at right here. That one you don't want to run. That one we don't want to run over. I don't think that changes at all. We can still go up in a good ways, but I think this will be a perfect spot. Sit here for a couple minutes, let everything kind of settle down. Cause we can, we'll do a walk up here in a minute in this bridge right here, and you can see over this canyon. The bulls are bugling everywhere, and honestly, I wasn't sure which one to pick. But as usual, I always feel like the bigger bull is going to have the biggest sound. So the one at our nine o'clock is, to me, the biggest bull that I can hear. And I think that we are gonna go after that one. We sneak over to the edge of this hill, and sure enough, there is a bull, and he's a shooter, right smack dab in the middle of it. He's walking away. Yeah. <laughs> now it's game on. He's a decent ball. Oh yeah, he's a good ball. Yeah. He's a good ball. Yeah, he's a six point. Yep. Sponsored by Sportsman's Guide Buyers Club, where you'll save 10% and get free shipping on hunting, shooting, camping, and fishing gear, all at the Buyers Club lowest prices. Learn how you can save more every day while you get ready for your season at sportsmansguide.com.
It is literally my first morning here within the first hour before the sun has even come over the hills. And here's a bull in my scope. This bull is awesome. And I'm just trying to figure out if I want to call it the end of my hunt so soon. He's walking away. Yeah. Hey. Good shot. Literally, it's like so early in the morning right now. We're like, what now? And I. <laughs> well, that happened fast. I honestly don't recall ever having a hunt go so fast. I, did, I think you knew you needed to take the opportunity, but it was just kind of like, there's no way. How does this happen? That first light, so quick, first day. It never you know. happens like that quick. Yeah. So I you think know, that was you going, not, is this for real? Like, should I? Should I? Well, I didn't know whether to watch you. Like, part of me wanted to watch you and see what you were doing, but I also wanted to watch it go down. I mean, that's cool, because she got to hear, she's never even seen an elk in person. So this was her first time seeing an elk, and she got to hear him in the rut, and she got to see one <laughs> shot the first day. She doesn't even get to pack it out. Like, we're, to, we're like, way to set the bar. Typically, it does not happen like this. I wanted to watch her, like to see what she was doing, since I'm like here to learn as much as I can. But I also wanted to watch it um, go down. So I was like, <laughs> who do I look at? <laughs> I watched it go down. <laughs> Sorry, you're cute and all, but <laughs> I wanted to see it. There's my bull. Pull down. I got my bull. One, two, three, four, five. He's a six point. Been rutting hard. He's a little thin. This was absolutely crazy. I'm so excited. I got an elk on the first day in the first hour. And uh, it just doesn't happen that easily out here. It's a 50% success rate. And to be that lucky um i'm feeling super blessed and excited and i i'm so happy that katie was here um this was her first elk hunt her first big game hunt this was a lot of firsts for us and it was pretty awesome it was perfect weather it was a perfect setup um first hour first day you know first light and first bowl we chose to go look at we ended up harvesting and taking it home and filling the freezer um Katie's first hunt and I'm just so grateful that it worked out the way that it did and I got to share this time with my my family and my friends and uh, what an experience and I cannot wait to see what the rest of this season holds. The necessities. Oh, and those bugles were just awesome. Just with the mountains and the view behind was just it was so cool. Obviously, I've been watching some of the episodes to just familiarize myself with it. But, I mean, being there, right there, smack next to it is definitely different. I mean, okay. um, video can only do so much, I think. You know? So it was really cool. I was excited to see that for her. I know she was excited. Were you nervous at all since I was there, like, with you? Watching, yeah. do you think? Hmm? Her elk? No, yeah, shooting her elk. He was she asking. was nervous. I wasn't. I was saying, do you think it had anything to do with like showing me or? No, no. I don't know. It was more so. I was a little unsure about the place. Like going into it, I knew there was a 50% success yeah. rate. I didn't know the ranch. I didn't know what the bulls were like. I didn't know. I just didn't know, and then I think when they were all bugling, it just got me excited, and I was like, yes. <laughs> that was awesome, and I just think that got me like so excited yeah. when they were bugling, and then as soon as we picked, like, you know, we went to go after the one. Yeah. You think? And then he was there, it was like, oh. And then it, was, it wasn't it was nerves, it was just, and my heart beats fast a of lot. Of course, you're um, And I, but. It was just beating and the way it just played out, like I just was trying to calm. I wanted to make a clean shot and a good shot and make it, yeah.
The Most Wanted list is brought to you by Veil Camo. Unveil your chaos. Can Am. Off road living. Capture, record, and share with Phone Scope. Furman Power Equipment. Rely on the unexpected. Rock and Roll Denim. Gator Coolers. Cold blooded at its core. Record Rack. Serious nutrition, serious results. Get lit with Pyro Putty. Sedona Tires. KC Highlights. Adventure Further. BTI Industries. Baku e bikes Built by Hunters for Hunters. Oh, so feel this. This is what you'd pack out with the, the, the hide. So the hide's about 40 pounds. Really? So that and the hide. I like it. Yeah, so it'd be like seven. You have to end everything in Hell's Canyon. I probably won't like it when it's on my back. You know, I will like it slash hate it. <laughs> winner for the hunt with us that uh, everyone subscribed there's like 800 people so we're gonna try to pick a winner for the hunt on this year and we're super excited about it <laughs> so I've got my computer up YouTube and we just did a random generator so out of 858 subscribers it generated 137. The number. 130, number 137. So now I go in here. Please be a hot guy. <laughs> You're <laughs> stupid. Okay, so rows per page 130. So we're at 121 yeah. through 146. So 130, 121. So 137. 2, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. Sarah Winslow. So let's see if she's on Instagram here. Oh my gosh, I hope she answers. So we just messaged Sarah. So as soon as she accepts that, we're gonna call her and then tell her she won. We're trying to figure out, she's coming to Texas and she's gonna hunt with us here. Um, hunt wise, we're still trying to figure out. Obviously, we always have our coyotes and hogs. We're working on trying to get a whitetail hunt, but we'll see. I thought it was a whitetail hunt. Well, if I can convince my husband to give up a whitetail. Oh. Hogs and coyotes. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, did he agree to that before you <laughs> chose the contest? <laughs> Sorry, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Exactly my point. No, we, we're working on a whitetail hunt, but right now they don't know what the hunt is, so. And neither do we. They're just gonna come hunt with us. Oh, this is fun. Okay. She's calling. Let's go in the shade. Let's do it in the shade. Okay. Babe, you gotta get over here too. Hello? Hey, this is Christy. Oh <laughs> we, uh, we're glad you answered the phone. We wanted to tell you congratulations. You just won the hunt with us this year. Yes. Are you serious? Yes, ma'am. Surprise. Ma Surprise. <laughs> oh, my gosh. We're super excited. This was so much fun, and we had so much adrenaline getting ready to call you. We were like, she responded. Yeah, this was a lot of fun. We're so excited. Do you I'm, I'm actually on my way back from kind of a disappointing bow hunt this weekend. Oh no! She had a disappointing bow hunt this weekend. Oh, See, God. it ended good because now you just want to hunt with us. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited! <laughs> <laughs> well, we are super excited and uh, I'm going to get in touch with you on Instagram and get your information and then we'll get something scheduled for December or January depending on your schedule. You're welcome. Congratulations. Thank you. All right, we'll talk to you soon. Bye. So You're welcome. Bye. 
she's so oh, cute. She's so oh, she's so cute. <laughs> that was so much fun. Look at Katie's got goosebumps. I, do. <laughs> I love that. That actually was cool. That was awesome. I bet you Lee's like, okay, we'll give her a, a white tail tag now. What about that? One? <laughs> Wasn't that cool? <laughs> you it's not that cool. See, oh, how cute. She, she was, was like, genuinely surprised. She was literally like, oh my god, I just got it. She Aww. was. She's like, I just came back from a disappointing bow hunting weekend. That, that just cool. made my day. Yeah. That was fun. Thank I'm you. so excited. So you guys are going to get to see Sarah Winslow. Uh, she just won the hunt, and she's going to be coming with us this fall. Not exactly sure what we're doing yet. We could be bird hunting, hog hunting. I don't know. I'm, <laughs> we're going to just have fun. Rabbits. Please stay home. We're going to have fun with us. <laughs> so congratulations, and we will see you in a few months. <laughs> yeah. You want some Blistex? I got some. For your lips? No, I have a... Uh, I'll just shut up. Did you hear me fart over there? It was so loud. <laughs> I'm starving, I can't think. <laughs>